podcast. Everybody. How's everyone doing tonight? Welcome. I am Jack. I'm Chris. I'm Barbara. I'm Bernie. And I am Jack, because I'm sitting in Gus's seat. Whoa. I just broke my microphone. I know. My mic is like this. I don't know what Gus did this, but if I touch this, it's like, woo. This is, uh, you got to tighten that <laughs> thing. <laughs> down. Around Twitter, really you got cool. bit by one of your cats. Oh, yeah. I got the shit bit out of me. I don't know if you can see it now, but like, so uh, when I, uh, when I, when we were moving out of the old house, my, or my cats were at my parents' house in the workshop there, because, you know, when we were moving stuff around, the cat, the, my parents didn't want the cats in their house. Yeah. And so we put them in their workshop and they stayed there for about three months. And so there's became flea bags, right? So well, I'm, Katie and I were like, let's wash the cats before we take them to the new house. So we got them out of the shop, which they had been in there for three months, and cats don't like change very much. So we took them into my parents' house they and into the washing bin. And uh, gave them both baths, and uh, they did not like that. So cats don't like being moved from where they are. They also don't like being bathed. And uh, I think Ashley has a scar from the last time we bathed yeah, Joe. But the I've cat. got like yeah. I've still got like you know, like Uday bit me on my palm to here, and like bit down hard, and I was like, ow, ow, ow. But you can't you know jerk your hand out; just make it worse. So I could. It was uh, pretty <laughs> brutal, but I got him cleaned off, and then uh, put him in the car, and immediately pissed in the car. <laughs> and then, uh, Come back. Yeah, and then so we got him to the house, and then they're, they're, they're okay now. It took them about a week, but now they're actually kind of yeah, settled in. Cats do a weird thing, and Joe did this whenever we took him to a new office or something, Joe the cat. Um, they hide. Like, they, they don't, a new environment, they're just, like, gone yeah. for, like, a week, and then they're, then they're fine. Yeah. There's, like, a weird, like... Certain like statute of limitations, and the cat's like, "Well, I guess this is the way life's gonna yeah. be." So fucking yeah. So they, they stay in the garage. They stay in the garage for a long time. And they finally kind of now they've opened up. And now they're walking around. And so at first, like Emma, so our dog, she was terrified because she hasn't had to deal with the cats in a while, and so she was pretty frightened of them again. Yeah. But now they're kind of back to it. Where Kuse and Kuse and Emma are friends, but then Uday's just a dick. Like Uday will like he'll lay in stair on the stairwell so Emma can't get upstairs. Uday is a jerk. Oh, right. Yeah, he's he's a total jerk. With horses, um, okay. <laughs> no, no, this is good about go pet, ahead. But, uh, with horses, and this, when when a horse is like being ornery, um, what are we talking about? Horses, horses. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Like, aren't you supposed to like punch it? Right? What? <laughs> Those are, are you four stories of, no, no, crossed in your head. Are you thinking of the horse puncher? No, no, no. I right, no, I'm not thinking. To punch it. Uh, someone was telling me that they uh, volunteered for this like uh, horse thing, and then they were saying what's like, a, "What's a horse thing?" I don't know, like a ranch or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> they were like a no, competition. Uh, and and uh, they were telling me it's like, yeah, well, when the horses act up, you just kind of give them a little, and I'm not, you just can't give them a little whack. You can and, punch. Uh, yeah, no, th- 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 that's what she. That's what they're like you're in supposed the to do. Face or like yeah. kind of like hit them on the side. That's like, what someone told me. I like in the teeth. <laughs> no, I don't think you like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pull I back a stump. That, that story that turned into that fucking character in the RTA. Yeah, 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 I, yeah. I punched a horse, but I did because it but was, that was biting somebody. Well, yeah, that's, yeah. yeah and, 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 she, and that's what I was like. That's just like protocol for horses. It's like you, <laughs> the that's, punch protocol. That's what someone was telling me, and I, I don't spend a lot of time with horses. Chris is very gullible. I, listen, I, I, um, you know, treatment of animals is a very big deal, but I also know people. Who have spent a lot of time around livestock and horses, and I've heard the same thing that horses are just like they're tough as hell, and so you just like to get their attention, you got to be ridiculously strong with them. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm not saying like go beat up a horse. I'm just saying like if it's like being. <laughs> I think a, that's not, what you're saying. You sure? No, no it was, that's what I'm I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm only if you get hired by a horse thing, then you can. <laughs> if you're at a horses. place with horses, uh, uh, but you don't. It's you're like, a horse thing. If they're like. Yeah, like, you know, biting wives and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Self-defense. What? How did we get on horses, though? We were talking about, was talking I, was about talking, your, I was talking about cats talking about and dogs. Cat biting you, and you're like, you can't just pull it away. I'm yeah, like, yeah. And then I'll start to think about the horses if it starts biting you. You're probably thinking about my story. Yeah, Bernie's got first-hand no, experience no, with a horse being. So, no, I, this is like happened in the last month. I was talking to someone about horses. <laughs> How can you not remember any of the details? Why were you talking to someone I mean, about I horses? I was talking to someone who, um, who said they volunteered at a, uh, a horse. I don't know if it was a ranch or not. It was something with horses, and they said that that's, yeah. <laughs> was it an apartment? How can you remember, <laughs> Chris, how can you remember that somebody told you the story and not remember anything about it? Like, you don't know where the person worked at no, all? I, I just remember this, com- it just like, Do you remember the like- person you were talking to? Mm. Uh, no, I don't. Really, I don't exactly remember much uh, of the conversation. Mm. Uh, drunk or did they Were punch? You did they punch you afterwards? Yeah. Did you try biting them? Like, <laughs> no. I, I, it's just, I used to have goats. They're awesome. Yeah, they're Wait. really fun. Actually, feel the donkey. You used show. to have goats. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, like thing not was second. Different, whole different show. Thing was thing was second. What? Wait. So I, you I, had you had a goat? Had yeah, goats? I had lots of goats. Wait. Did Where? you live on a farm? Not really. It was, that was a thing. It was I a goat out, thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I lived out in the country uh, in high school, and we had like we had uh, goats, we had pigs, we had cows. Did, Did you, you have goats? horses? No, I wouldn't eat them. They were like our pets. Oh, they were pet goats. Yeah, I know lots of people grew up eating. Yeah, goats. no, they were awesome. Yeah. Really cool. 
fun animals, and they like the, they do this like they're it's so fun. fun. What what's fun they, about they, a goat? They like having fun. Like okay. what? Like, no, like go sledding with them? No, or? Well, no, they like to dance and. Uh, I, I sort of like the donkey seen, would sing and the goats would dance. <laughs> no, the, Wait, they no, like to have dance. You ever seen it? Yeah, have you ever seen it? goats? Like, they do this like kind of like they jump. They they will climb up on stuff and just jump. Okay, I don't think that's dancing. Well, what is it? <laughs> jumping, climbing on things, and jumping off. They just like they like they just playing. enjoy. Ha- yeah, they like they're to play. playing. It's okay. not dancing. They climb on each other like they yeah. dance yeah. off. They'll each do. Other. They'd like climb up on top of cars and just like dance around they're up dance. on it. <laughs> Chris is literally like doing a shimmy, like with his arms. <laughs> well, like I just imagine donkeys just getting down, yeah. and just, just grooving. No, goats are awesome. Like, you, and there, and you get a little miniature goat that doesn't get you know more than like two or three feet. And yeah. it's way smaller than a donkey, even a miniature little donkey thing. Okay, a three foot <laughs> donkey, a three foot goat is pretty big. Well, two or whatever that is. You know, okay, like knee, that's like a foot height. and a half. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, it kind of makes sense. Like having goats. I remember at the, one of the first paxes I went to in Seattle. There was like a grass berm next to the convention center, and they actually had goats. You could they had a, like they had rented goats to just let out to eat the grass mm-hmm. there. Yeah, and no, that's kind of cool. Like that, they, that'd be nice actually. When we were doing um, I believe we looked into renting goats. Oh, yeah. uh, you can't, you can't rent goats. No, the, you can totally rent goats. Well, yeah, but not. It was it's harder than you think to come up with a goat. What we ended up doing, <laughs> um, there was this guy who was like, <laughs> there's this keep guy. Going, please keep going. <laughs> there's this guy who was uh, selling goats and and uh, selling selling them. And Brandon was like, hey, can we, it was like, goats are cheap, by the way. Another reason you should get them over donkey. Um, okay. But he was selling these goats, and uh, they were like $70 or something. And we're like, hey, all right, we don't want the goat. Can we just pay you $70 to borrow it for the afternoon? And then he, Brandon worked it out with him, and it, like, ended up happening. And then he, he we had the goat, and we were shooting with it. And, we, you know, we shot for, like, a couple hours. Did you have to, like... Walk around the goat and check it for dents or anything beforehand. How did <laughs> yeah, well, no, he was just. And, but it, and then Brandon was like, he was like, I don't shirts? think they're gonna let us give them back the goat. I'm like, what does that mean? He's like, I think they want us to keep the goat. <laughs> like this so, guy was trying to get rid Brandon of Brandon just negotiated a cheaper goat. That's what Brandon no, no, negotiated. He paid no, price he for the paid goat. full price for the goat. But he was like, I think he wants us to keep the goat. What he paid full? What an idiot! He paid full price. And then they were like, yeah, just bring it back later. Wah, wah. Well, no, but like no, they, wanted of rid, they, they wanted to get rid of the goat. They were the guy who bought the goat yeah, was like, I understand the story. Brandon got suckered. Yeah, well, but no, but then he's, a very, for a goat he didn't he's want. a very bad negotiator. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, we tried to return the goat. The guy was like, no, it's your goat. Congratulations, Mark. Wait, and he said it was your goat. Yeah, he wouldn't. He, you he, paid full price for it. That's what I'm saying. You got suckered. Yeah. But we didn't want the goat. So then we so Brandon, you don't understand. You listen, Chris, you <laughs> act like I don't understand. You don't understand. You got suckered into buying a goat. That's yeah. exactly what happened. When I go rent a car and I say, hey, I want the Ford Fiesta for rental, they go, great, they, that'll be $23,000. <laughs> yeah. You're like, well, awesome. We'll just, I'll bring it back in, in three days. I just and we'll think Brandon just didn't want to bother with owning a goat. So well, he was willing to pay full price just to rent it. Yeah. He Why might did he pay have... full price, though? Why did he pay, like, well, you only want a portion of the goat. If we have a lease on the goat. It's not a, it's not a full well, purchase. Whatever the case may be, we ended up with a goat that we had to, the guy didn't want back. So what did you do with it? Brandon just stuck it in his yard and ran off. Oh, the guy's <laughs> yard. Yeah. Oh, go oh, to in Brandon's yard. Oh. No. Like he he was like he's like, all right, we just he just put it in the guy's yard and then left. Back so the guy where, got a free goat back. He got his free yeah. goat back, but then he you know he's up seventy bones. Yeah. Yeah. Good for that guy. Have you have you heard of people going to like deprivation chambers? Oh yeah. There's apparently one, that's like the new big thing. There's like, one in Austin. Yeah, yeah. So right by my house. My my friend did one up in Fort Worth, and he's like, it's really cool. You should check it out. Imagine being in one of those during an earthquake. That would mess with you because it's pitch black and just there, you're in like a foot of What's water. What's the point of Wait, it? So, yeah. What is this thing? Apparently, so, it's like it's like meditation, right? Yeah. Well, basically, that. what it is is you rob your mind of any external input. So they put you in a uh, tank of water that the salinity kind of balances out your buoyancy, so you float, and then the water is the same temperature as your skin, so it's supposed to feel like you're not supposed to feel it either. You know, it's supposed to be like perfect temperature, like dead even with your skin. And then they close the lid, like they put you in a pod, close the lid where there's no sight and no sound. Lying on your back? And you're just floating in this thing. From what I understand, I've never done it before. This is what I understand. And uh, and then the the, you go total sensory deprivation. And then when your mind does not have anything, it just starts to generate it. So it's like I've heard people that people have uh, like hallucinations. They have pure thoughts and all this stuff, and people swear by it. Yeah. And there's one in Austin, I believe it's called the Zero Gravity Institute. I think that's what it's called. 
That's it. Nailed it. Yeah. All right. Fucking a, Patrick. Nice. We, we should check that out. I that, would not do that. Yeah, I don't know if I'd want to do that. Is I like would a, not. I don't trust is myself. Is like a, I like a, being a in my own brain. So I'm something. fine. <laughs> yeah. Could you like get out if you like, want? To? Yeah. Yeah. There's a there's there's a apparent well at least my, the one my buddy went to. He said there was a button you could hit to turn the light on. Oh, okay. And then I'm sure it's like a panic switch or something. Yeah. I would feel like I would I would freak out in there. Yeah. So here's what it looks like if if you're watching the stream at home. Kind of looks like a looks like a gym shower. Yeah. Or a freezer. It looks like a giant white box. what I thought it looks like. Yeah. I imagine some pod type thing like a. Do you go in naked? I I don't know. Why is that your first question? Uh, well, then it's just because. A, well, yeah, it, <laughs> here's the question to... too: If you go in naked, is it just a bunch of guys like, what else am I going to do? I'm what does naked. that mean? Well, you're what? just jerking off oh. in, the, in, the, in the deprivation chambers. <laughs> is that your first thought when really? you're naked? Is what else? I guess no, I just when you're, when you're by off. yourself, that's immediately where you go to. Not like, all right, I'm going to enjoy this peaceful time with myself and see what oh, well, my brain comes what, up with. It's like, nope, it? spanking time. <laughs> It's enjoying You're a peaceful time. What, what, was, what was that promotion the Taco Bell did? Uh, that something one? was going to crash, a satellite or something was going to come out of orbit, and they put a big thing out in the ocean, and they said, if it hits that, we will give everyone in America a free taco. <laughs> Do you remember that? <laughs> no. Yeah, it was, it was a Taco Bell promotion. I'll look it up while you read it. That's it was an cool. Olympics thing. Didn't they do something like that where it's like every Taco gold Bell medal? Free taco. They do stuff like that at sports events a lot. Right. Like yeah. Companies. I well, know when I went to hockey games, they're like, if uh, our team scores more than five goals, everyone gets a free slice of pizza. Yeah, I remember when when UT basketball, if they would score eighty five points, everyone in the arena would get like five free wings from Pluckers yeah. or something. And so when they got to about eighty, everyone started chan- chanting chicken wings, like chicken, chicken wings, <laughs> chicken wings, and they score and everyone lose their mind. And so March nineteenth, two thousand one, Taco Bell is offering a free taco to everyone in the United States if the core of the space station mirror hits a floating Taco Bell target place in the South Pacific. <laughs> Man. It is literally a 40 by 40 like tarp with a bullseye with a Taco Bell, a bell in the middle of it. It just says, free taco here. <laughs> wow. That is genius. Man, nothing gets Americans going other than free food. Free stuff, man. Free, free stuff is the way to go. Soviet space station crash. Everybody gets a free taco. <laughs> Taco's here. All right, let me read this it's real quick. a good way to start, like, get a war going or something. It's like, yeah, but if we attack a Russia, good way to get a war going. free taco. <laughs> That's a good way to get a war going. I know another dude recently, I don't want to call him out because Gavin will get mad at me. But uh, he said he'd never gotten a massage before, and he was thinking about getting one coming up. And it was like a, a decision. Oh, no, they're, they're awesome. Like, but is I, it a weird thing to no. get a massage? Is it Not I at all. Think, I've gotten a massage. I've yeah, only gotten fun. two in my life, and they were both yeah, but, terrible. Chris, when you say you say with a weird smile on your face, it's, it's so weird. <laughs> yeah, you make yeah, it weird. Fun. No, no, it's just like, it's, it's... I mean, I was alone for five minutes before he came in, so... Here's what you do. You just get a couple of goats, and you lay on the ground. <laughs> Throw grass on your back. On your and back. then you punch your masseuse. <laughs> no, I've never, I've never done... I've never had, like, a... That's a, how you get out at the end. <laughs> No, they I start never... biting you. That's when you start punching. <laughs> Sucker punch them. <laughs> I've never done like an actual, ma- like, or not a one of those massages. Chris, where... listen. <laughs> Let him finish. You nobody can see it, but no. When he said the massage thing, <laughs> demonstrated a massage. Chris went underhanded with massage. <laughs> no, I said, I've never done that. Listen, I've what, never what, done. If a masseuse comes at you like yeah, this, that's... underhanded, just get away. No, I, yeah. I, I, the only massages I've been to were just normal massages. Like, but why are you going like this? <laughs> what, what's, I, what are you rubbing your I'm arms put, for? <laughs> I wish if you're listening to the audio now. podcast, I wish, there's nothing more unnormal than Chris describing physically what normal looks like. It's just like <laughs> he's like picking at his own arm. It's like slowly. Usually, if you're demonstrating massage, you go like this. You pretend to rub shoulders. Shoulders. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Your right. thumbs. Yeah. Well, Rotate yeah. the thumbs. Video game style. All right. Yeah. So, <laughs> the only. <laughs> Chris is doing his best. No, it's not not this. (laughs) Chris is doing his best. Continue your massage story. Like a bear. (laughs) I've only had normal massages. That's what I'm trying to get at. That's what I'm saying. For the record. All right. So anyway, so... uh, so, Wait, uh, but where are you going with that? I all I said was massages are nice. Oh, okay. <laughs> and he's had one. So yes. we've all oh, had normal massages. massages, though. Totally normal thing. Totally normal. So anyway, so we were getting massages, and uh, I called up and I was like, "Hey, I've got like three free hours. Can you book in a massage here?" They said, "Sure. Your uh, your masseuse will be uh, will be Preston." And I was like, "Hmm. I've never had a, a dude massage me before. All right, I'll give it a shot. I'm never going back." Really, it was awesome. Like they they have like strength oh, in their hands. You're never gonna go back the old way. Yeah, yeah. Are they never go back to the dude. No, typically you get like you know like a, a female will massage a male and vice versa, and uh and so this is the first time I, like I actually had a guy rub my shoulders. Like holy shit! Like I've never had that much pressure and stuff before. Yeah. Like it's Stronger really hands really usually. good. So anyway, so I totally recommend you get a, get a guy masseuse. It's the way to go. I- have a nice day. Bye, love Bye, you. Bye, internet. The web talk show. People do that, right? The rooster talk show. Drunk talk, rooster teeth. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm already perfect. 
don't change a damn bit. I'm a piece of gus. I'm an adult. I'm back. Totally happy. Life's good. Go now. Gus. Lost. Doc. Make you feel better? I'm, I'm, I'm the most important. So, fuck off. Fine. You are.